Hi children, good morning. Who is back here? Your English grammar teacher. So now we are going to start our past tense second portion. So first portion we discussed about simple past tense. Now we are going to discuss about past continuous tense. So in the first class we discussed about simple past tense. Now we are going to discuss about past continuous tense. So let's see. Okay. The past continuous tense tells us about actions that were going or continuing at the at a particular time in the past. So what about past tense? Last class what we studied past tense? Past tense tells us that that action took place in the past. But here in past continuous tense the action that we are going to continuing that actions where that are uh, we're going or continuing at a particular time in the past itself it's not in the present in the past itself at a particular time the action is continuing so that is past tense past continuous tense past tense means the action that happened in the past past continuous tense means that tells us about actions that were going they're going or they're continuing at a particular time in the past itself. That is past continuous tense. Okay. So the past continuous tense tells us about actions that were going on or continuing at a particular time in the past. For example, look at the example here. The boys were playing football early in the morning. So here the action is continuing in the past. When the boys were playing football? In the early in the morning. So early in the morning they were playing football. That means the action happened. That action, were, that action was continuing in a particular time in the past. Okay, here see this early in the morning means happened in the morning. So we are talking this action about maybe in the afternoon or evening. So the action happened in the past and it's continued for a, at a particular time. That is, the boys were playing football early in the morning. Second sentence, I was studying for my exam last night. So there here the action that happened last night and uh, at a particular period the action, at a particular time the action continued. The, I was studying. So what I was to doing? I was studying for my exam last night. So the, the action happened in the past. Okay, the action happened in the past but it continued at a particular time. That is past continuous tense. Look at the third example. Rajat was looking at himself in the mirror when his sister entered the room. So this also the action happened in the past. When his sister entered the room that time what Rajat was doing? Rajat was looking at himself in the mirror. So this also the action happened in the past at a particular time. So past continuous means, past continuous tense tells us that, tells us about an action that were going on or continuing at a particular time in the past. That is past continuous tense. So in past tense we discussed we will use the past form of the base verb. We will use the past tense form of the base verb. But what about the past continuous tense? What kind of verb we will use? Okay, look here. The helping verbs. That means, look at here the examples. See, teacher here marked with red color. So, we are here, we use the helping verb. Was or where combined with the ing form of the main verb. Here, play is the main verb. So, what teacher did? I used play plus ing form, playing. Along with playing verb, what we used? We used where also. Or we can use was also. So, was or where combined, joined with the ing form of the main verb. Here, play is the main verb, study is the main verb, look is the main verb. So, along with that, we will use the ing form and we will combine was or where with the ing form of the verb. That form, that form, past continuous tense. So, in past tense, we form the past form of the main verb. That means, if it is play, in past tense, we will use played. Walk, walked. Swim, swam. But in past continuous tense, we will use was or where plus ing form of the verb. 
and walls are bare plus ing form of the main wall. Now you may have a doubt in your mind where we will use walls or where. See, we will use walls along with the singular noun. You know what is singular and plural? You know. Okay. So, along with the singular noun, we will use walls. Along with the plural noun, we will use where. So, remember this. Along with the singular noun, we will use the verb was. And along with the plural verb, we will use where. And what about the I pronoun? See, along with this I pronoun, we always use was. Okay, so three rules. First one is, in the past continuous tense, we will use, we will form the verb was or where plus ing form of the verb. That is the first rule. Was or where plus ing form of the main verb. Then second rule, was we will use along with the singular noun, where we will use along with the plural noun. And was we will use along with the pronoun I. Always with I we will use was. There is no change. So if the noun is singular, we will use was plus ing form of the verb. And if the noun is plural, we will use where plus ing form of the verb. Where we will use in past continuous tense. Clear children? So I will describe this one more time. The past continuous tense tells us about actions that were going on or continuing at a particular time where in the past. So in the past form or in the past at a particular time some actions were continuing, were going on. That actions are called past continuous form of the verb. Then example, the boys were playing football early in the morning. Here the action happened in the morning. So we used here were playing. Why we used were playing? Because the noun, sorry, the subject, the noun is, okay. this is a singular noun, sorry, this is a plural noun, the boys is a plural noun, so we use where plus ing form of the main verb, play is the main verb plus ing form, where plus main verb plus ing, this is past continuous tense. Look at here, I was studying for my exam last night. So last night I was studying. Last night, it's a past tense. Last night, the term tells about the past tense. So we will use, uh, this is I is a pronoun. So I was plus study, main verb plus ing. So I was studying for my exam last night. Rachel was looking at himself in the mirror when his sister entered the room. So when his sister entered the room, that is what Rachel was doing. He was looking at himself. Here we wrote was because Rachel is a singular noun. Rachel is a singular noun. So we used was plus look is the main verb plus ing. Was looking. So when we will use the present continuous form of the verb, we have to use was or where plus ing form of the verb. Was we will use with the singular noun, where we will use with the plural noun. Clear children? That is present continuous tense. So to make you more clear, we will do the exercise first. Textual exercise D. Complete the sentences with the past continuous forms of the verb. See all of you, please open your textbook. Page number 46. All of you, take your English grammar textbook with a pencil also. Page number 46. Exercise D. Complete the sentences with the past continuous forms of the verb. So, in that question, you will get the main verb only. In the bracket, you can see the main verb. We have to change it into past continuous tense. We have to change it into past continuous tense. How we will change? We will use was or where plus ing form of the main verb. Look at here, first one. Okay. Rakesh dash bracket talk is the main verb to Madhu when it started training. So, the first question is Rakesh talked to Madhu when it started training. This is a past tense sentence. So we have to ch uh, change it into past continuous tense. We have to use here the past continuous tense of the verb. How we can use this? So we will use what was or where. 
first we will use uh, write was or were if we are going to write was or were we have to check the noun the noun is singular or plural rakesh how many are there only one person so this is a singular noun so what we will use was or were was we will use was Was we will use. Then this is the main verb talk. So main verb ing form. Main verb plus ing form. So talk plus ing talking. So the answer is Rakesh was talking to Madhu when it started raining. Clear children? So we have to write past continuous form of the verb. For that first we have to check whether the subject whether the noun is singular or plural rakesh is a singular noun so we will use was here and the main verb is talk we will use ing form of the main verb that is talking so was talking is the past continuous form of the verb clear children now we will go for the second exercise shilpa dash a novel when i reached her house so when i reached her house i saw shilpa dash her novel See the bracket. The main verb is read. So first we will check the uh, the subject whether it is a singular or plural. Shilpa. Shilpa is singular or plural? Yes. Shilpa is singular. So what we will use? We will use was. Was plus was. Then read is the main verb. So we will use the ing form. Was reading. So what will be the answer? Shilpa was reading a novel when I reached her. house clear children okay now we will move on to the next one the boys dash maths last evening last evening this is last evening means past tense so we have to change this verb into past continuous form how we will change we will check the noun first the boys the boys is singular or plural boys yes is there so plural noun so what we will use was or were if it is plural noun we will use were we will use were and the ing form of the main verb were studying maths last evening were studying maths last evening okay now fourth one akhil practice flute in the evening so in the evening so it tells about evening the action happened so maybe we are telling this action we are telling about this action maybe the next day or the next week uh, no, sorry the next day or next day afternoon like that so in the evening what he was doing he was practice flute in the evening so akhil is a singular noun only one person akhil so we will use was and the ing form of the main verb practice plus ing practicing the answer is was practicing in the evening okay so when the such type of questions will come for the exam first we have to do is we have to check the noun is singular or plural if the noun is singular we will use was plus ing form of the verb and if the noun is plural we will use were plus ing form of the verb only these two things you have to make sure when you are writing was or were correctly then the ing form of the main verb you can you write it you can add only the ing along with the main verb there is no change at all. Okay, this is past continuous form of the verb. Now we'll move on to the next one. They dash by the blackboard when the teacher came in. So when the teacher came in, the students they wipe the blackboard. So this also we have to change wipe into past continuous form of the verb. How we can change it into this? Look at here. They. They is a singular pronoun or plural pronoun. They is a plural pronoun. they more than one person is there so where what we will use was or were here we will use what kind of verb we will use we will use the plural verb so that is were were plus why is the main verb so we will use the ing form of the verb that is wiping were wiping they were wiping the blackboard when the teacher came in they were wiping the blackboard when the teacher came in move on to the next one Rohan dash when I saw him. Rohan was doing something when I saw him. Here also, smile is the base form of the verb. You have to change it into past continuous form of the verb. So 
So first what we have to do, we have to look into the subject, the subject that means noun is singular or plural, Rohan, Rohan is a singular noun, so we will use was or where, was and smile is the main verb, so we will use main, plus, main verb plus ing form of the verb, so what will be the answer, I can see somebody is telling the answer, was smiling, Rohan was smiling when I saw him, okay, so I told you already, when that type of question will come for the exam, what you have to do is, first we have to check whether the subject, whether the noun is singular or plural. If the noun is singular, use was. If the noun is plural, use where. And main verb will be there in the bracket. You can use ing also in the main verb. So, was smiling. Next question. Samir Dash paint this portrait of his grandfather last week. So here last week, it's a past, past sentence and we have to change the main verb into past continuous form of the verb. Samir is a singular person, isn't it? Do you have any doubt in that? Samir, only one person, so singular noun. Paint, main verb is there. So if the noun is singular, we will use was or where? Yes, was. Was, paint plus ing, painting this portrait for his grandfather last week. Was painting. Okay, children, I hope it's clear to you. Pause painting. Next, the thief hide behind a pillar when the guard saw him. When the, uh, when the guard saw him, he hide behind the pillar. Pillar means wall, uh, like that you can say. Now, first we will check whether the noun is singular or plural. The thief, only one person. Do you have any doubt in that? The thief is a only one person. So, it's a singular noun. So the verb will be also singular verb. So what we will use was or where? Yes, was. The thief was. Then hide. What is the ing form of hide? Hiding. The thief was hiding behind a pillar when the god saw it. Okay, children. I hope it's clear to you. I think you already completed these answers. Please write the answers. The dash is given over there, provided there, so you can fill the answers in that uh, in the dash. Place given here in page number 46. Okay, children. So we'll move on to the next one. Next next exercise number E. Change the verb to the past continuous tense form and rewrite the sentences. So in page number 46, you can see eight questions. Question exercise number E. Eight questions are there. You have to rewrite. You have to change the sentence into past continuous form of the verb. Okay, first one. Sunil is walking back home from the playground. Sunil is walking back home from the playground. Look at here. Here he is walking is given here. But we have to change it into past continuous tense. We have to change it into past continuous tense. So here Sunil is a singular noun. And walking, already walking is there. We have to change only this. He is. So what will be the answer? Sunil was walking back home from the playground. Sunil was walking back, back home from the playground. Clear? Next, Fuzzle plays badminton in the park behind his house. Fuzzle plays badminton in the park behind his house. Here, plays, the verb is there, main verb is there. So, we have to change it into past continuous tense. Fuzzle, a singular person. So, definitely we will use was. And play is the main verb. So, we will use play plus ing, playing, was playing badminton in the park behind his house. Fuzzle was playing badminton in the park behind his house. Okay, children. Okay, now we move on to the third one. Kunal ate lunch with his friends. See here, Kunal ate. This is the past tense of eat. Eight is the past tense of eat. So we have to write, change it into present tense. Eat. So eight is the past tense of eat. This is simple past tense. So this sentence is simple past tense. So, we have to change it into past continuous. Look at here. This is simple past tense. Kunal ate lunch with his friends. This sentence is simple past tense. 
Now we have to change the sentence in the past continuous. So what we will do past continuous? Kunal is a singular person. Was eating. Eight is the past tense. So what is the main verb? The main verb is eat. So we will use eat plus ing. Was eating lunch with his friends. We will not write eating. Eating is a wrong term. We will not use like that. If eight is the past tense, we will change it into the main verb. What is the main verb? Eat. Eat, 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 like that. So, eat is the main verb. So, we will use eat plus ing. Was eating because Kunali, uh, first, Kunali is a singular person. They are swimming in the pool at the sports complex. It's very simple. Already, the ing form of the verb is here, main verb is here. Only they, they is a plural pronoun and we have to change only the verb. R is there. So, we are, when we will change it into past continuous tense, what we will write? They were swimming in the pool at the sports complex. They were swimming in the pool at the sports complex. See, when this kind of sentence will be there, you have to be little careful. Because 8 is the past tense. So, this sentence is a simple past tense. When we will change it into past continuous tense, we will not write 18. We will change it into the main verb. Main verb is eat. Main verb is eat. Okay. Main verb is eat. Plus ing was. Plus eat plus ing. That is was eating lunch with his friends. So when this kind of sentence are there you have to be a little more careful with it. Okay. Now shall we move on to the next one. Question number 5. The mouse looks at the cheese greedily. Ah, oh, the mouse looks at the cheese. The mouse, they, likes, they like cheese very much. So, the mouse looks at the cheese greedily. Here, the mouse is a singular noun and look is here. It's a main verb. So, what we have to do? The mouse was looking at the cheese greedily. So, mouse is a singular noun. We will use was verb and looking. Look plus ing. Looking at the cheese greedily. Okay, children. Now, move to the next. Ishan is watching the final match of the tournament. Ishan is watching the final match of the tournament. Here, look at here. Watching the verb is already there. Only the, this is the present continuous. So, we have to change it into past continuous. So, what we will write? Ishan was watching the final match of the tournament. Ishan was watching the final match of the tournament. Okay. I wrote an essay about collar bears. Collar bears is a kind of bear. So, I wrote an essay about collar bears. I wrote, wrote is a past tense. What is the main verb of write? What is the main verb? Write is the main verb. So, when we will change it into present continuous, we will write the main verb plus ing form. Do you remember the uh, points what we discussed in the beginning? But, uh, main verb plus ing. What is the main verb? Write. What is the past tense? Wrote. So, this sentence is a simple past tense. So, we have to change it into past continuous tense. I. I is there. So, I is a pronoun. Always use was. I was. Then we will not write rotting. That is a wrong term. We will not use that like that. We will change it into the main verb. I was writing. Write plus ing. I was writing an essay about collar bears. So I told you when we discussed about the Kunal 8. That time also I told you that is a simple past tense. 8 is the past verb. Past tense verb. We will change it into the main verb. Eat. Same like that. Rot is the past tense verb. We have to change it into the main verb, write. Write plus ing. I was writing an essay about collar bears. Last sentence. Ankit is dancing merrily. Merrily means very happily, very gracefully. Ankit is dancing merrily. So, is dancing is given. Is is a present continuous tense. We have to change it into past. What we can do? Ankit is a singular noun. So, Ankit was dancing merrily. Okay, children. So, when you will get this kind of questions, you have to be a little more careful. What we discussed about eight. Eight is the past tense. We will use the main verb, eat. Rot is a past tense. We, when we will change it into present past continuous tense, we will change it into main verb plus ing. Only these small, small things, you have to be a little bit careful. 
other than that it's very simple to change it into past continuous tense we can apply was or where if the sentence uh, if the noun is singular was if the noun is plural where okay okay children i hope it's clear to you i think completed all the exercises okay okay so you have a small assignment this assignment answers i already um, you will get through notes assignment answers you will get through notes what you have to do before getting the notes just try to do it in a paper or in your notebook okay and just try to do it in your notebook then you match with your answers once you will get the uh, once you will get the notes clear children i just given a small activity like assignment just do it in your notebook then what you will do you have to check with the answer script your answer script and the notes what you are getting later this is the assignment okay color the past tense in blue color the past tense which color blue color the past continuous tense in green but for the for like here i have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 stars and inside six verb uh, six forms of verbs are there you have to color you have to find out what is the past tense verb color it in blue and past continuous color in green do it in the notebook okay after you completing the you can do one thing if you cannot write it now you will get the answers also and assignment questions along with the notes so once you, once you receive the notes you can copy it in the tech notebook and do the activity in the notebook itself once you completed this chapter okay clear if you cannot write it now no problem once you get the um, what we say once you get the notes also after that also you can write it no problem at all okay children so this is the activity it's an assignment and we can see this is an activity also color the simple past tense find out which are the past simple past tense verb color it in color the star with blue color and find out the past continuous verb and color the star with green color okay children clear okay thank you children thank you very much for listening me i hope it's clear to you if you have any doubt you can call me i hope you have my number you can call me okay thank you children thank you very much and god bless